This is Coyote News. The turf at the Dakota Dome finally got to feel a full-length football game Friday as the Yankton Bucks traveled to Vermilion to take on the Tanagers. After scoring on their first drive, the Bucks were able to get a turnover on defense that set them up for their second score in six minutes, taking an early lead. But Vermillion found their composure late in the first quarter when quarterback Charlie Ward connected with his wide receiver, Connor Saunders, for a 38-yard touchdown. The Bucks would lead the Tangers 17-7 going into halftime. The third quarter saw a lot of back and forth, but only a field goal was scored by the Bucks to extend their lead 20-7, entering the final frame. It was in the fourth that Vermillion found their stride as Ward connected with Saunders again to find the end zone to bring the game within six. And after a turnover, the Tanagers saw themselves with the ball to take the lead. Or connected with his receivers on back-to-back -back plays to match the Tanagers 77 yards downfield and set up an easy one-yard touchdown run. The Tanagers would take the lead 21 to 20. The Bucks responded with a two-minute scoring drive of their own to take what would be the final lead change of the contest. Their defense would step in on the next two drives, intercepting Ward, one leading to a score. The Bucks would win the contest 34 to 21 to stay undefeated on the season. Ward finished the game with an unofficial 323 yards passing and three total touchdowns. Trevor Fitzgerald for the Bucks finished with an unofficial 118 yards passing and an additional 39 yards rushing and two scores. The Tanagers will travel to Sioux Falls Christian Friday night with kickoff set for seven.